Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Let's first begin from the Western region and residents at 10 and half and four other adjoining communities in the Takwa in Swaye municipality of that region feel reluctant to seek care at a health facility constructed by the assembly. Stanley Nibleru reports the facility was not furnished before it was commissioned for use. Access to universal and quality health care is a third of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. This binds on Ghana to champion courses leading to the achievement of these goals. At Ten and Half, a farming community in the Takwa and Swaye municipality, for instance, the municipal assembly has demonstrated commitment at improving health care. The assembly has provided one of the best health facilities in the municipality to serve more than four adjoining communities. The facility has a nurse's quarters to house staff to ensure prompt services are provided to patients. Residents used to go through tough times to access health care anytime they are ill, and so the provision of the health center was embraced by all. But this has not solved their needs. This is because the center was not furnished before it was commissioned for use. For this reason, patients do not regularly patronize a place. When we started, the patronage was a bit okay. But as time goes on, they found out that the place is not accredited by health insurance. So it's gradually reduced. So now patronage is low. There are inadequate beds and chairs for both staff and patients. Currently, there's only one bed which serves both pregnant women and the sick. Medicines are kept on the floor. Health workers improvise in many instances because other tools to aid their work are non-existent. A physician assistant who is the head of the health center gave more insight about their challenges. The cases that we can manage we do our best and then the ones that it's above us, we refer to the municipal hospital or Apinto government hospital. The Takwan Swaye Municipal Health Director, Emmanuel Yao Afeo Kum, assured measures are being put in place to address challenges facing the health centre. We rely mostly on the assembly and then also the mining company for expansion. But it's as and when it falls within their budget limits and their program of activity. So with our collaboration, we foresee a, a period where support will be extended so that we'll be able to improve on the infrastructure base as well as the equipment base. The Takwa and Swaya Municipal Assembly is confident of addressing the furniture situation. However, rigorous intervention is needed to persuade beneficiaries to use the centre. And residents at New Mankasim, a resettlement community in the Takwa and Swaye municipality, are gradually abandoning the community, despite the non-availability of alternative livelihood for inhabitants. It is a hazy Thursday morning at the New Mankesim community. Heavy fog and sounds of birds signify a new day. Most residents were still asleep at the time the mission team arrived in the community. This is a resettlement community. In 2015, Residents were relocated by Anglogod Ashanti Idriapri Mines from Old Mankesim, some 20 kilometers away. This is one of the cottages that occupants have been forced to relocate to New Mankesim. There are several of these scattered around, but they have had to relocate due to the constant blasting done at the top. During the blasting, Residents are exposed to dust. They had their water sources polluted and also at risk of being killed by stray rocks. Management of Anglo Gold Idriapri Mines, in consultation with district authorities and residents, purchased a land, constructed and distributed the apartment 
among the residents. The properly laid out community was designed to include a community center, chief's palace, a market and water system. Households are also made to include toilet facilities and bath house. The community is also hooked onto the national grid. The indigents then left the old community to the resettlement community. Residents lost majority of their farmlands too, and compensation packages were released to them. But the beneficiaries are not happy with the compensation package. The compensation they gave us was insufficient. They asked us to use it to buy petty items for our upkeep, thinking they would add on, but they didn't. Eleven persons were, however, not compensated. For some, catering for the educational needs of their children is difficult. Some children do not go to school, although there is a school in the nearest community. Four years on, the population of the community has dwindled. This beautiful settlement is gradually becoming a ghost community. The reason being that residents claim they have no alternative source of livelihood and so majority have had to relocate in search of greener pastures, claiming living in this community is very difficult. The youth in this community have no job doing. Hence, feeding our families is difficult. However, the community's water system does not function, so residents rely on a polluted water source. Management of Anglo Gold Ashanti Udria Prim Mines occasionally supply us with water. When it gets finished and we call for another supply, they insist we are disturbing them so they don't come. We are then compelled to rely on the polluted stagnant water. Paying electricity bills is another issue residents are battling with. Despite the threat mining activities pose to them, some of the residents have expressed readiness to go back to the old community to work. There is no land for farming here, so we attempted to go back. They brought us here without any alternative source of livelihood. Both the Takwa in Swayam Municipal Assembly and management of Anglo Gold Ashanti Idiapri Mines are yet to respond to the plight of the people at New Mankesim. Stanley Nibleu, TV3 News, New Mankesim, Takwan Swayam, Western Region. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for watching. Let's do some more stories on News 360 and work on the abandoned maternity block at the Comfort.